Good morning folks and uh, welcome to Backpacking Adventures with me Richard. I want to shake down the ride today, the shake down ahead of the Grand Guananchi Gravel Race. So it's Sunday today at the time of recording. I'm going out on one of my uh, final remaining rides here in the UK. Nothing too strenuous, just spinning the, spinning the legs. The most strenuous thing today will be the winds in this <laughs> part of the UK, which I live, the Isle of Axome. Just heading towards Thorn at the moment into uh, South Yorkshire. So one element probably will have to contend in, contend with in the Grand on the Grand Guananchi. In the Canary Islands is the wind and that's a, certainly something which you always get here. One thing I'm not able to replicate are the hills and mountains. The closest you get is on eastern surfaces and uh, potholes. But this wind is really useful training because it is really strong this morning. It has eased off a little bit since Saturday, um, from which I didn't go riding. I decided to uh, not ride in the end, just saving my legs for today. But nevertheless, it's still pretty windy, and it was already, it's already been quite tough for this first 10k. And moment, in a moment, just about to head that way, so I'm going to put the camera away and use the uh, bars and the drops like I have been so far just to try and keep some uh, forward motion right turn the camera away because this is a long straight windy road with nothing to hide behind except the occasional pile of rubbish which has been uh, fly tipped so I'm heading south at the moment nicely hiding away from the trees on the right and more canal views on my left here further along the TPT around Doncaster and some great improvements along here now a lot of people can associate the Trans Pennine Trail with leisure but it runs through lots of towns such as here in South Yorkshire so this is brilliant to see well as you can see they're uh, starting doing prep work along here so this path has got to be at least three meters wide thank you now need to see is this appearing in towns and cities you need to start seeing lanes like this which means taking space away from cars <sighs> amazingly it's dried off along here
So on the Grand Grenache we've got a WhatsApp group together. And I don't know if this person is absolutely serious, but look at that. That's a serious amount of food. I won't be taking anywhere near that much. So we're just going along the uh, newish cycle lanes towards the Amazon. Big Amazon warehouses at the Eye Port in Doncaster. And just went past a cafe over there. So we're gonna go somewhere new next, underneath the uh, the Great Yorkshire Way. So we have not been before. Just been uh, reading the comments below my last video on the bike setup for Grand Guananchi, and I certainly agree with you, Simon. Um, yeah, there's a bit of wobble on there. I think there's too much weight running through the arm. It does seem to be holding steady, but I don't know. I don't like the shakiness. So I'm right in the centre of the Great to the Yorkshire Way now. I think that's the Great Yorkshire Way, and uh, I've had to go under the M62. Not not the MX62, the M18. Coming up on the last 15, 20 uh, K, just a bit of off-road. Anyway, from here on in, I'm heading to Epworth next, turn, right, making a right turn here. I'm gonna go to the Amazon locker and pick up a few things. And um, I was gonna say, hopefully I've got somewhere to put everything I'm picking up, but stick it on the tail fin. Uh, it's nice when the, the uh, what, sun's out, it's lovely and warm. Look at this swan dotted in the field, just randomly. Come from. <sighs> bye bye, Swannies. <sighs> it's lovely with the wind behind me. It's going to be great just to get home at a reasonable time. Probably going to walk in the door about two o'clock. There won't be much cycling on going this week. I don't think. Um, depending on what the weather's doing, I might do my 10 mile commute to and from work. Another ride over. Hope you enjoyed watching this video, folks. Shake down, ride ahead of the Grand Guananchi. End of this week. Really excited, looking forward to getting over there. You may have noticed if you're a regular subscriber, got some new rib shorts on. Slightly a bit small. So the Castelli ones. Cargo bib shorts, men's medium. So, got huge cargo pockets as the name suggests. The uh, Fit SD cards. They're very deep. If I can uh, show you. Got some greys, got some rubbish. And they also go upwards as well. So, you can actually spring stuff up into the thigh. So, uh, and one each side. So, more pockets. Right, folks. I'm going to draw this video to a close. I'm going to jump in the shower and chill out for the rest of the day. Yeah, all I have to say is don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Right, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye. Wash me or wash the pots first. What a quandary. I suppose the question really is wash me, wash the bike, or wash the pots first. <laughs>